I was very disturbed by that. The fact that the lady didn't realize that that was the two of the same tables put together and she thought it was bigger, I thought that was terrible. Oh, she she. Me fan? Me fan, me fan. Mm, it smells really cumin. Cumin. Cumin or cumin? Cumin or cumin? Just answer the poll above. Wait. Oh, there's potatoes. We've got onions. Do I see Yeah, I see one too. I don't see any of the gummy rice. All the gummy rice is. You never get those. I love this. Hey guys, so I'm Ryan, and this video started a little while ago, and I uh, just realized it. You're probably seeing this after my long vacation to uh, a bunch of places. So right now I'm back in Chengdu. We're getting ready to move, actually, uh, but I definitely have to try to eat some of my favorites before we go, because it's going to be hard to get them when we move to Ecuador. Stay tuned for that. I'm here with Sarah. Oh, uh, Sarah does not want to be on video. Why is that? Because we're moving and I stink. And you I'm stink. Gross. Okay, so dry pot is this right here. It smells really good. Um, we got the rib version, and I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of what exactly dry pot is. It's a relatively new dish, eh, about 20 years old, and basically it's hot pot but without the broth. So I think you can just take like a hot pot brick that you'd buy in a grocery store here and not add broth to it and it, you're just getting the hot pot flavors basically but like a, a really concentrated version. They cook everything ahead of time, pretty much everything. They'll, they'll do like the herbs and the spices and everything. They'll cook that fresh in the hot pot. But like the ribs, we got ribs here. Uh, they're cooked ahead of time. Onions, some of it's parboiled, some of it's fried. Uh, but they'll just basically have a bunch of different stuff pre-cooked and then you pick your meat we picked ribs I've seen man we, we usually get chicken wings um, shrimp chicken wings duck feet duck heads um, duck wings uh, fish uh, beef Chicken feet, chicken bone, like chicken. Chicken neck gristle. Neck gristle? Like neck, yeah, I've seen some it, like, translated to just chicken gristle. Um, like nubbins, is that a thing? Chicken nubbins? Uh, like almost anything. I'm sure I'm missing a bunch. Uh, I don't see pork that often for some reason, but I'm sure it's, it's out there somewhere. And uh, yeah, so you pick that in, and they put in whatever else they want. So uh, onions are common, potatoes, we got some, oh, actually that might be ginger. Potato. That's potato. Potato. Um, <coughs> we got some lotus root, lotus root slices. That's always, not always, but it's often in there. Uh, and they got some chilies, lots of chilies, lots of hua jiao in this. I can taste the little bite of the potato I took. It's spicy. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a, a beautiful little collection of food. I, I quite like it. And it, if you like strong flavors, you'll like dry pot because it's like really intense flavors. If you don't like strong flavors, then f you and f your and you can f my because I don't like you. Um, well, I'm going to try this rib meat first. Mm, lots of flavor. Nice kind of charred taste to it. A little, little spice, a little cumin, a little tingle. Yeah, it's good. Hey, wait a second. Earlier I said that you don't really see pork. But we're eating pork. I thought you said that because it's like pork. No, I said it because I'm stupid. Potatoes are good. Onions are nice, got some bite to them. And the lotus root. So you'll notice all these ingredients are pretty firm. firm. You don't want anything mushy in there. You don't want anything that's gonna go too soft. Like even the potatoes, they don't cook that much. Like they're solid. But that's how they like it in, in China though. What? 
uh, excuse me, you don't want to be on camera and you, know, you think, feel like you can comment. What, do you, what did you say? Tell us, share it with the class. I said you gotta stop saying fur. Why? Fur. That's the way you say it. Fur. Why do you think people watch this channel? So, boiled peanuts, thing in China, Sarah loves them, they're okay. They parboil them with flavors. Crack this guy open, what do you got? You got some peanuts. Hey. The flavor's always good though. And then the peanuts are pretty firm. It's a firm peanuts. Peanuts, firm, peanuts. Peanuts, firm. Firm peanuts. Ratings. So this dish is thought to have been invented in Daeyang, which is a, a town kind of north, I think it's northeast of Chengdu. But it really, it, it spread quickly across China and it's popular everywhere. In Beijing, on my app, I looked it up and it was like something like 1,600 restaurants in Beijing serve dry pot. So it, in the 20 years it's been around, it really spread fast and um, people love it because it's delicious. What else you got? Not for me. I got chili oil running through my veins. Oh. That's bone. So in about five days, we are leaving Chengdu. We're gonna go to England for about a month uh, before we go to Ecuador. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be moving to Ecuador for two years. This is the third time, fourth time, we've moved to a new country and started, you know, from fresh, kind of changing the Angie up. Boom. Um, so that's it. Uh, dry pot, a great dish, one of my favorites in China, one that we're going to miss a lot, and one that you should try if you come to China. So, hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you subscribe, follow along, hit the bell icon to get notified of upcoming videos. And, what? Get some beers. Get some beers. Get some beers. Drink them now. Eat some boiled peanuts. Eat some boiled peanuts. Let's see what happens to your poops in day. Count the peanuts in your poops. That's what Sarah does. For when I'm by myself, I don't wanna hang around y'all. Pray for good health. One day I'm really gon' fall. Fuck around and buy the whole mall. Breaking that cake. Flexing seven hundred in the bank. Not a superhero, I'm safe. Look at my face, look at my grace. Don't match up, no love. Fuck a date. I just fade. When I hit the jack, you can get the pie. Every night I gamble, I stop. Yeah. When I check the cost, I was like, Oh, that's expensive. I roll it flex in my ear.